everybody, it's your friend Sarm right here, and we're back with another episode of Settlement Survival. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. Our last episode, we were working on our wonder here, and we made some pretty good progress. We have a ton of building kits now saved up. We got a decent amount of lanterns saved up, and we need a little bit more furniture. So right now, we have 1,620 in reserves, and we're at about 4,400. 4, so let's call it about 6,000 furniture. So that means we're going to need an additional 4,000. Now let's go check to see what our little ship guy is doing here. And it looks like they are uh, selling some gems with a return of 2,200 furniture. So that means we're going to need about 1,800 more. So if we go to our bazaar, we should be able to go to Lorenzo, buy insurance, buy some items, and go ahead and find fern, and go ahead and buy some more of these. So we need, what was the number? Was it 960? Oh my goodness, I remember the number. Holy crap. Okay, <laughs> so 960, we'll buy one of those. And then that, we'll just go ahead and go ahead and get that on. And then let's go ahead and visit here and get a little bit more rep. And we'll go ahead and purchase. And we'll go Fern and we'll go 960. Okay, that's going to put us at 1800 and some change. So that should be pretty good. Let's see, uh, once stuff gets back here, what else we might need. But let's check our gem stock here and see if we can get any more of these out of here. And it looks like we can. Uh, we had 3,000. Yeah, let's go like 2,500. We don't have any statues, but I think we have some porcelain. So let's let's go ahead and see if we can find that. Uh, there we go, porcelain. 930. Yeah, let's throw a couple on here. Let's go 750. That's pretty close. Let's sell it. We'll be at almost another uh, 100,000 there. I'm going to go ahead and form that and get some more rep coming in. So... We got our goods on the way for our uh, super duper wonder over here. This guy, awesome. We're excited about it. And this guy's gonna give us, everybody's gonna be able to go to school here, which is gonna be great. And the additional plus 50% for all research institutes and academies within the range. So you get the blue area here, of course. And we have a bundle of those guys up in here and we can even upgrade them with a little bit more uh, research technology points and whatnot and we're definitely going to be able to do that here pretty soon uh we, looks like this guy isn't using any paper or rope let's definitely go ahead and make sure all of these guys are at least accepting paper and we should have plenty of paper around town here so let's go ahead and we'll toggle that on for all these guys and uh, we are also going to be getting into a little bit of some candy production in this episode and i think i found a good spot for it but we have to do a little bit of work so if we come over here in this side of the world this is a mountain that hasn't been utilized because we can't because it's too small so i think what i'm going to do is go ahead and knock it out of there and there we go that was nice and easy get rid of that mountain and let's go ahead and finish uh there's no little thing here there we go put our obsidian road in here i also just wanted to fix that corner there and i think this will be a good spot for our little candy person so let's go ahead and go into the technologies also, look at how quickly this number is going up. Super great. Love it nowadays. We are going to be needing some sugar out of this. So I guess that would make more sense to start with some sugar, I suppose. Uh, so we got to go into this tier right in here. So we have salt making, sugar refining, and canned foods. So I guess for now, we have to just go ahead and get salt. We can't quite do sugar refining yet. We need salt first, but we're really, really close. So let's go ahead and get salt makers happening. Uh, these guys extract salt from water, which is one of the materials salted meat bacon and vegetable cans and then we have the curing workshop that processes fish or meats and salt into salted meat or salted fish so we'll go ahead and grab that guy and we'll grab sugar refining here in just a moment once that thing comes up now we need we will have malt beet sugar cane and maple sap we need to have some of those guys uh, in order to make some sugar and i think we had some sugar cane let's see real quick here we got our collection um we don't have any sugar cane okay Oh, we don't have any malt either. So what the heck are we doing here? Let's go ahead and find one of our traders. And we're going to go to Carlos. And we are going to be purchasing a ton of seeds. So the first thing let's get going is uh, some of those things that we can utilize, like the sugar cane. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll grab that one. And then is there anything else that really we can get while we're out? I mean, we might as well get some things. I usually like to get as many seeds as possible just to kind of fill that out. It doesn't really matter if you get all the seeds or miss seeds or whatnot but we'll go ahead and grab a bundle of them but we really need that sugar cane that's the one i care about i'll uh, buy insurance and we'll go ahead and form that we'll visit carlos and utilize our seed uh replication with him 
So that'd be great. New tech point acquired over here in a little thing. Oh, and more importantly, we have a new ship. Pause the game real quick. See if there's anything good in here. And not really. A whole lot of nothing. Except this bell tower is kind of intriguing to me. Let's see, that would be 10,000 for four. So let's go ahead and do... Well, let's go 12, I suppose. Uh, they already had 19 on the ship, so if we, we'll just go 12. That's 30,000 coins. That's quite a few. So we'll go with, well, we won't have, we don't have 12. What do I need 12 bell towers for? Come on, guy. Go ahead and cut that in half. We'll go 15,000. We don't have that many uh, churches around down here. I don't know how many we have, but six should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and do this transaction. Get some bell towers into the dock. And then wait, let's unpause the game. And we should be able to locate a couple of our churches. So now we will be able to get bell towers once they get back into the stocks. They're just at the dock right now. So we've got to bring them in. Uh, this is going to increase its service scope. So we'll be able to do that. It'll be a good thing. I wonder if the mosque takes the bells. I would imagine it would. Let's see. It, interesting. Okay, it doesn't utilize the bell tower. So oh, that's weird. I wonder if they'll ever implement something to... Uh, boost the radius of the mosque as well all right so we just got uh, some salt works right so let's go ahead and put a couple of those guys in here i will pop those on to the, uh, the shoreline here hopefully we have a good enough shoreline to do so i think we would and of course we could also just flatten it out and um make our own there it is there's the salt works okay so we have our salt works and it does fit in here quite nicely so that's that's excellent so we'll go ahead and we'll pop that guy down right there and let's just give it a little buddy so that we have plenty of salt coming in. And we'll add that there. And then let's add the city and road right there. And then we let's go with our uh, processing. And let's put our curing workshop down. We don't have any fish over here. I guess we have that one right there. And I don't know if I can squeak this in anywhere. Well, let's see a good spot close by. So let's kind of go up over in here. And I guess we'll pop it right over here by our distilleries. We're kind of impeding on this little area here, but I don't think we're close enough to really affect the the apiary or the gathering up there. Maybe if we just rotate this, we'll be one more closer. Ah, we'll go like that. Keep it in line. And then we'll go ahead and grab our road, and then we let's drag this obsidian road down here to kind of pop that as obsidian first. Okay, so now we have a spot that is going to be able to process our fish and our meats into uh, cured food. So this is just a second tier of food it's not uh, super great but it's better than the, just regular raw food uh so we got our tech point now we're already halfway to the next one even so let's go ahead and get our sugar refining now where are we going to do this is the question what are you guys oh the tea shop yes uh do we have coffee beans oh yeah we got coffee beans let's go ahead and pop a couple of coffee beans in there um and i don't think we have anything else okay, yeah two coffee and then we have a luxury furniture factory. Oh, these are all remnants from last episode that I had forgotten about. So let's go ahead and uh, do some do we furniture. Do we have these goods? No, no, no. Okay. Great your little furniture it is then. Until we get down into our agriculture and get to fishing. This guy right here, the fishing port, super great thing. It's going to get us blubber, silver, and lobsters. And we can utilize that silver for the luxury furniture and that's absolutely what we will be doing so we let's go ahead and get our sugar refinery happening somewhere here uh let's see we could we could change this little plop into uh sugar stuff so i did hear a jingle jangle so let's see if we got our stuff doesn't look like we did yet uh well, i guess that was just a rep increase so we're lorenzo's five Connie is five carlos is four um, so this person is only three, but hopefully we get uh, the rep increase here pretty soon. With a couple of the things that we've sent out. Uh, let's see how our uh, wonder is doing. It's doing okay. We got 3,000. We're really getting really, really close there. Our training flows from the waters back. And uh, our salt works are ready to go. So let's go ahead and say, yep, build our, or gather our salt, please. Let's upgrade this warehouse. It's right by so that it can be utilized a little bit more. And we might as well upgrade these ones as well. We have 3,100 bricks. Tons and tons and tons of bricks. So we'll take advantage of those guys for sure to uh, upgrade our warehouses. Because why wouldn't you? But well, like I was saying, if we utilize the standard farm here and we put like maybe maybe four of these farms as uh, as uh, sugar, maybe that would be a good thing. You know what we could do? We could even replace some of these. 
Let's see if that's going to even fit two. It may fit two in there. So that would be kind of the thing to do, I think. So we'll go ahead and we'll swap these guys out at the end of this season because we don't quite have our seed yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have our seeds yet. Uh, that would be from this raider. Yeah, so we got a little bit ways to go yet. Come back from Carlos, so we'll get those pretty soon. Uh, our caravan has returned. We got a bunch of revenue. I think that's additional um, furniture with this guy. Yep, got some more furniture coming in. So we should have enough furniture now for that wonder. We just got to get it to it. Uh, did the bell towers get taken out of here? They did. Excellent. So let's go ahead and upgrade our churches around here with an extendo bell tower because we have it now. <laughs> And it's not going to really make that big of a difference, except it adds this little bell tower to the church, which is amazing. Uh, it's like we already have everything within the range of the churches. Just another little thing that we can add in. So let's go ahead and put up one there. We don't have any churches over here, but we might have one here. Yes, we do. We have like three churches. That's going to buy 12 of those bell towers. What a silly thing that would have been to do. I guess I could have just traded them back, but... All right. I think that's it. I think that's all we got for, for churches. We, yep, we don't have any over here. We already upgraded that guy. Excellent. Okay, so that's good to go. Really just want to get those uh, those sugar guys back in here. But let's go ahead and we can, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, kind of have an idea where we want to put this. Ooh, blueprints. Oh, great castle and great temple. Awesome. Crop seeds acquired. All right, there it is. So we will be able to, in the wintertime, get rid of these. We'll just have to remember what we want to do that. So let's go ahead and go to processing. We've got our sugar workshop and our jam workshop. The jam is going to take various fruits and make it into jam. So if we have an orchard that is working, uh, making us some of those guys, which I don't know. Yeah, look at this. We do. We have some dates up over in here. So let's go ahead and add this jam workshop over here somewhere. I was just looking and that road doesn't. Oh, it does connect over here. <laughs> the, the obsidian threw me off. All right, great. So let's go ahead and pop this guy right in here. Uh, we're gonna need some glass works over here though too for that those jams uh silkworm shed go ahead and make that um we must have been working on some silk too so let's see if we have processing we did get silk learned and i think we have a couple buildings um, in order to utilize that silk as well we'll just find them got a trick but we're working on our sugar right now so let's go back down over here and we'll go back to our sugar workshop and uh, let's go ahead and this will work really well if we just tuck this back here utilize our space as much as good as we can since we don't really have a whole lot of space left in this map we'll go ahead and do that and then we just gotta wait for this the uh, winter time and we'll be able to get the, that swapped out uh, what do we got here so we have tents we have this guy oh this is cool uh and can greatly relieve occupant stress build near the marketplace so we probably can't really do anything with this because it's enormous we don't have a fantastic spot for something this big uh, we could maybe like maybe put it over here, but uh, that's kind of what this whole area is with these apartments. That's what my hope was, was to have enough houses for everybody who wants one. But it looks like we have almost 100 citizens that are still looking for housing. So kind of interesting, but this is a new stat on here, I've noticed. Family uh, 1, 2, and 2 out of 3, 2 out of 3. And we have a small merchant ship in port, okay? An uncommon small merchant ship docked quietly at the dock night and a sneaky merchant got off the ship our chamber of commerce does not allow private adjustment of prices but i have too many leather shoes in a backlog i hope to sell them cheaply to you please don't disclose it to others uh sure take advantage of that that's probably a way overpriced but that's okay uh but since we do have the luxury apartments let's go ahead and plop some puppies in here since we got them let's go ahead and put some puppies in that one. Oh, it looks like i did that for most of these uh we just missed this one i guess Anything else that we can upgrade with this? Oh, we do have toilets as well. Let's put them in there. I didn't have those toilets in there. I don't know where they're doing their business now, but we'll get some toilets put in so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, and then this guy, I think, you have a puppy and then a toilet. And then uh, we will wait until we get some luxury furniture to upgrade that one. Awesome. So anything else up here like that we can upgrade? Uh, we do have this interim housing, but it's not a luxury apartments. Let's make it a luxury apartments. Go ahead and do that and then oh yeah so we needed some glass bottles right so where did we have a bunch of our kilns or maybe we want to add some more kilns because i don't think we are producing like any glass bottles yeah 206 so that's we must have like one somewhere that is producing them maybe that was up over in here 
Uh, but we may need to add some more now that we're going to start using them. Ooh, this custom tailor is utilizing tons of flax for a bunch of rough clothes, keeping us clothes over here. It's great. Uh, and I was wondering if this is red here, so we may need to get some more coal happening as well. Uh, we got one point here, and I want to check out... We do we do want to get our candy workshops to be talking about it, but uh, I do want to check in mining here, and I would like to make some infinite um, mines, and it looks like we do have that. We just need nothing okay excellent that's that's the perfect thing that i need <laughs> nothing so let's go ahead and upgrade that guy uh this looks like it's empty as well upgrade that so two infinite mines on the way that's gonna be great we really really want to have those. so they're just super nice you don't have to worry about your mines anymore um and then over here looks like these guys are taking these goodies off the field fantastic and then once they do that we will do our thing oh but this sugar workshop is good to go so it's gonna be looking for sugar beets cane maple sap malt or dates okay we did have a handful of dates so i think i'm going to yeah we'll leave eh, we'll leave it like this I, i'm going to exclude the dates because we have that workshop up north there that's looking for dates to make the jam so we're going to just take those out we'll wait a little bit longer on that guy and let's see if this one's built up over here yet wow okay so we have enough silkworm cocoons that didn't take very long let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit and since we're here let's go processing Let's go textiles and we'll go ahead and pop that in here like so as well we might as well and uh let's rotate it like that again utilizing the space as much as we can here get a road in there like so and you know you probably want to have a warehouse as well so we'll pop a warehouse in here excellent okay and we'll do that these guys are already expanded and they're already full let's go ahead and throw another one down over here as well there's one right there and cool all right get those coming in and this is time to uh, kick these guys out of here. So let's go ahead and de demo these. Let's go for all six because uh, I want to replace all six of them with those better fields. And that shouldn't take too long to do since we have 240 laborers, tons of people. I just want to see what else we got here. Okay, so we have the barber shop and cure the sick efficient, efficiently and also increases the citizens' health. Oh, uh, well, we could do that. That's a pretty simple thing to build up. Uh, we do already have hospitals clinics and stuff scattered around but just for the sake of having having it built up let's go ahead and do that if i can eh, maybe we don't want to do that i don't really have a great great amount of space to do so so maybe we just kind of we got that mine there let's, let's pop that right there it should work kind of in a really uh not convenient place but that's okay and we'll just get that out just to there Kind of replacing the obsidian roads as i'm going here i'm not like going too wild with it but i definitely want to have you know some of them happening here it's got a little bit of life left in it let's upgrade this one as well let's see so that would be 480 yeah so eh, i'm gonna do one more for lanterns that's what i'm worried about they're running out of lanterns okay and it looks like this has been cleared so let's go ahead and swap it out for our dense farm right away here so we can hopefully get it done sooner than later and we got five things over here. So we got tech points. Let's click that on. Okay, we have two tech points available. Let's get that candy workshop we were talking about. And then we have new crops. So that's the sugar cane and whatnot that arrived. We have immigrants that are here. Okay, so let's go ahead and refuse those immigrants. We have too many people as it is. Well, not too many people, but we have a lot of people. Oh, our curing workshop is completed. Oh, we might need to have a second one. Um, we don't really have a whole lot of... We have meats right here. Let's go ahead and do salted meats then. And then do we have a, like a good fish spot i don't think we have like fish ponds or anything laid out anywhere i think i might be thinking of our stream town that has a bunch of those fish ponds because i'm not seeing a whole lot of those um so i guess well fish ponds would be by the water wouldn't they i suppose <laughs> or i guess fishing ports like this so let's go ahead and we'll put this guy in over here as well see if we can get it to fit oh man i don't know if that's gonna work like that should we try? Let's try and find out. The, since I'm wondering because the road is blocked here. We'll see what happens there. Kind of interesting. Uh, and okay, over here. Still hammering away, huh? Okay. That's fine. Uh, but let's get that uh, candy workshop in. So I wonder if that's going to be processing. Is that be a treasure? Oh, yes, it is. Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and rotate this guy. And we'll put it right here. We'll get that built up. And it looks like we have another farm ready to go. So there we go. Look at that guy. We'll do that one as well. Oh, yeah, they're getting completed now. Sweet. So I want to have at least four for sugar canes. That might be a little much. 
but uh, if we need to adjust we can do that as well uh, and then i think we want to probably do a well in here Ooh, only five thousand uh, water kind of running low so let's go ahead and do a big well over here just so it's closer to stuff and can, can you put a big well in here i put one back here but i kind of don't want to use a space for that but we will i guess okay and then let's also just put in a reservoir too i don't i would rather not run out of uh water <laughs> not great to do at this point in the game this guy oh come on it's so close all right we'll just go up here then and then let's go ahead and bring our road out connect it all up all right cool and then i'm just gonna drag a couple roads up and over here while we're waiting for the last of those farms to get completed or at least taken out that done and then we got one more over here i don't want to forget about okay and then up over here did our silk stuff and things get completed yes this guy did the jam workshop let's um be okay with any of these fruits or, wait are you kidding me that dates aren't a fruit on here no way chestnuts cherries oh that sucks <laughs> dates aren't on here okay uh that's interesting so we could swap one of these out or um or not okay well i guess that was kind of a bust <laughs> so we'll just kick that person out of there and uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna go get some silk happening over here so custom gown we need silk we need refined leather we need jewelry we don't have any of these things so ooh, we don't have any refined leather because that takes uh some salt we did get that oh boy okay yeah let's that's luxury coat uh, i like okay that does take up the silk anyway so let's go with luxury coats uh, and then we could absolutely grab a, um, it wouldn't be a transfer station. It would be the, I think we even have a lot. This is this guy, the supply terminal or the delivery station. I want to take up that point though. Uh, the supply terminal is going to have workers store designated items in the structure from storing type buildings. Any citizens can take to use the resources. So my thought is if we grab this guy, I guess this will be done very shortly here. So let's go ahead and grab that. We grab this guy we should be able to call for uh, additional goods up over here so in this case we're looking for feathers or you know wool, any of these things we should be able to call for those and then it'll bring, bring them up we just have to be able to uh, go in here and then supply terminal beautiful right there all right so we'll go ahead and pop that guy down right there and we'll get that coming in jam workshop you're so disappointing <laughs> so we don't really have any good orchardy seeds right that was the thing that we tried to click on here and we didn't have any options so let's go ahead and get our caravans rolling probably don't need this caravan but that's okay uh, we'll go carlos minus this my insurance let's go ahead and go and buy some seeds we want to focus on the orchardy things such as apple cherry chestnuts peaches pears pecans plums grapes and uh maple seeds perfect let's go ahead and purchase all those goodies and then let's go ahead and check our gems we got the gem oh five thousand gems holy cow all right we'll go ahead and can't do five thousand but i can do 4800 there we go we'll sell those for 188,000 monies uh, insurance and then we're going to go ahead and form that so that's going to be great get those guys coming in and i wonder is our wonder <laughs> being hammered on right now yes it is okay so we just got it 150 hammers out of 7,000. so we got a little bit of time to wait for that guy but it is the way and that'll be really great oh look at these guys these are ready to roll as well a little late i mean it's august it's been almost a year since these things have been you know worked on uh, but let's go ahead and get our raw materials it's gonna be sugar cane so let's go ahead I, I was talking about getting four so let's do four Ooh, but i would really like that it to be this one so i'm gonna just wait till that one's get built up just before assigning the last one and then let's go ahead and assign these other two back to being food just because you know we want to make up for what we're taking away here uh let's see 12 12 12 12 12 staple food 16 27 on the corn that's why i love corn so much we're gonna go ahead and put some corn in there and then we'll wait for this guy to get done and then we'll put some of our um, sugar cane in there and that'll be done shortly but let's go ahead and send that to water candy workshop you are going to be doing some of you have to means some of this action water and sugar select that we'll put a second worker in there what do we got for any of these eh, nothing much all right, and then let's go ahead and go raw materials, sugar cane, boom, four, and then we have our warehouse is really close, and then we can process the sugar that we get from these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. 
and then we got our transfer station right here so that's all all set ready to go i'm happy about that we'll get some candy happening increase our happiness it's not doing super great i'm not sure what the dealio is oh it's probably this so our city stress is really high because the population is is large only 105 percent population is a, a source of stress and that's going to of course reduce your happiness but the candy should work to counteract that a little bit this is going to be needing to be like a lot more than just that you know we might even want to just kind of go for it over here like like that get a lot of those candy guys coming in and uh supplying the whole town with it and we might as well have the resources all right in here again i kind of feel bad about just putting a stupid well there but it's all close by that's what i care about right now uh so this guy is looking for salted meats maybe that was a terrible spot to put that because I, mean, I guess this is close but still a ways out oh this is ready to go though let's go ahead and put some coal in there we got let's put 10 in people we have the workers 190 boom like so excellent we might have a couple more mines around town that are uh, upgraded to infinite mines now let's just take a quick peek up here this guy is still waiting for stuff and things so we'll just hold up on that oh but our supply terminal is completed let's get a buddy in there for chester we are going to be looking for feathers we have lots and lots of feathers let's go with i don't know a thousand uh add a thousand feathers in there and then let's just see what else these things are looking for we have an excess amount we really don't have an excess amount so we'll just leave it like that with some feathers and then we'll utilize the silk that we can make from the mulberries and our silkworms here and we'll be looking great and workshop we are waiting on this guy and that's gonna be apples let's just get it selected and then once that's built up we'll get those apples in there and we'll be good to go uh this is we're just waiting on this but i think that's gonna be a good spot to end this episode thanks for coming and hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this sweet candy themed episode have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening day or night and i hope to see you on the next episode of settlement survival